What you didn't know about the Amazon rainforest. Hey everyone, welcome back to Taltanic. I'm your host, Alexa. The Amazon has been in the news a lot recently, but how much do you really know about this amazing place on Earth? Before I tell you all about it, make sure that you're subscribed and ring the bell so that you never miss an upload. Speaking of nature, can anyone guess what my favorite flower is? Write your guesses in the comments down below, and that answer coming up later. Name it. Spanish explorer Francisco Oriana has been credited with giving the Amazon its name. He was said to be attacked by female warriors called Ikamiabas while exploring the jungle. He compared these warriors to the Amazons from Greek mythology. Bigger than big. The Amazon, also known as Amazonia, is the biggest forest in the world. It covers five and a half million square kilometers. It spans across nine Latin American countries, and if it were a country, it would be the ninth largest in the world. It covers 60% of Peru. For some perspective, the Amazon is about half the size of the USA different area codes. The Amazon has a huge footprint in South America, spanning across the border of nine countries, Brazil, Colombia, Bolivia, Suriname, Peru, Guiana, Ecuador, Venezuela, and French Guiana. A massive zoo. The Amazon supports a ridiculous amount of living creatures, 10% of all known species in the world to be exact. That equates to around 30 million species living in the Amazon River Basin, and every year scientists discover and classify thousands more. Here's a quick breakdown for you. There are 2.5 million insect species, 40,000 plant species, 1,300 bird species, 430 mammals, 3,000 types of fish, 2,500 butterflies, and 378 reptiles. Topping up the ocean. The Atlantic Ocean receives 55 million gallons of water every second from the Amazon. This is about 20% of the global river discharge into the ocean. A river runs through it. The Amazon rainforest is sustained by the Amazon River, which is the largest river by volume in the world. It contains 20% of all the river water in the world. The Amazon River is kept topped up by about 15,000 tributaries flowing into the river, with sources originating in nine South American countries. The primary source of water comes from melting snow. A drain on the continent. Not only is it large in volume, but the Amazon River's drainage basin spans nearly 40% of the continent to South America. This equated to 2.7 million square miles. That's a huge catchment area and a massive drain on the continent, but the good kind. Home sweet home. 21 million people reside in the Amazon rainforest. There are also an estimated 50 remote tribes. These are classified as tribes of people who have not yet made contact with modern civilization. Amazon locals. The Ticuna is the largest Amazonian tribe in Brazil today, but do also occupy parts of Colombia and Peru. They are artistic people, known to paint for pure pleasure and produce much handiwork and crafts such as statues, baskets, and masks. Hot and then hotter. The Amazon is a hot place. It's a tropical rainforest after all. The hot summer months soar to a sweltering 100 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about 37 degrees Celsius in the drier season. Expect a fall to 88 degrees Fahrenheit or 30 degrees Celsius during the rainy season. Fruit Mecca. Would you believe the Amazon rainforest produces 3,000 different fruits? But we would only recognize about 200 of them. The most recognizable fruits growing in the Amazon are pineapple, papaya, bananas, oranges, coconut, mangoes, tangerines, and lemons. On top of that fruit salad, you'll find figs, grapefruit, avocados, dates, limes, and passion fruit, and about 2,900 more. The Earth's lungs? You may have recently heard the fact 20% of oxygen in the world is produced by the Amazon rainforest, but that just isn't true. By day, the Amazon probably produces about 16% of the oxygen produced on land, which is nearly half of the 34% of total oxygen produced by tropical forests through photosynthesis. The Amazon's overall global oxygen contribution is reduced to 9% when you take into account the contribution of phytoplankton in the ocean. The Amazon is not really the lungs of the planet, it's more like an individual with its own oxygen tank, not giving or taking away from any of us. 
Blackout. When people describe the Amazon as dense, this is not an understatement. The sun must filter from the highest tree canopy through levels of dense growth to the forest floor to sustain life. The rainforest floor is almost completely dark, with low light adapted species thriving in only 1% of sunlight that filters down. All creatures weird and small. You generally think of spiders as being common prey for birds, but not this one. The Goliath bird eater doesn't always eat birds, but it totally can if it wants to. This mammoth tarantula is the heaviest in the world. They're not dangerous to humans, but they do shed prickly hair when threatened that can cause some serious irritation for days. If you got it, swim it. After 66 days of up to 10 hours of swimming a day, Martin Strell swam the entire Amazon River in 2007. That is 6,400 kilometers or 4,000 miles, so he did an impressive average of 100 kilometers or 62 miles every day. Dr. Amazon. About 25% of Western medicine is derived from plants in the Amazon rainforest, but scientists have only studied the potential of 5% of the known Amazon plant species so far. Not your garden variety. Most of us have probably seen that photo of a child sitting on a giant lily pad. Well, that is the Victoria Amazonia, named after Queen Victoria. These impressive water plants can reach sizes of up to 3 meters or 10 feet across. The truth is they are so strong that they can hold an adult's weight. Be careful if you ever give it a go, as they are covered in protective thorns. Is it or isn't it? Debates have surrounded the title of the longest river in the world. The main contenders are the Nile and the Amazon. The Amazon safely takes the title for biggest by volume, but the hotly contested longest river title might recently have been solved. The Nile is recorded as 6,650 kilometers, while the Amazon is disputed between 6,400 and 6,900 kilometers. Strolling trees. The Amazon forest is alive, but we mean literally alive and walking. The walking palm, or cachapona, has adapted to move into the light. Sunlight is at a premium, like we said, in the dense forest, and this palm's roots can move it by growing new roots towards the light and replacing the old roots. It's not exactly moving at breakneck speeds, but come back in a few years and it might have scooted over a few inches. African imports. The world is so interconnected, it's almost unfathomable. A recent study using satellite imagery and dust cloud modeling has shown that particles picked up in the Sahara are blown over the Atlantic and settle in the Amazon. This dust forms a critical part of the makeup of the forest's top soil. It contains phosphorus, which ensures the Amazon's dense forest thrives. You heard correctly, the world's largest non-polar desert helps the world's largest forest survive. Fruits of the forest. It may look like this tree is crawling with a disease or a creepy bug, but it's delicious fruit that grows directly on the trunk of a tree. The Brazilian grape tree's fruits are tasty, sweet, and juicy, and can be made into wine, jam, jelly, or juice. It's raining meters. Rain is not just in the forest's name, it's in its nature, with an average annual rainfall of 9 feet, or 2.75 meters. During the rainy season, the river rises about 30 to 45 feet, or 9 to 14 meters. The Amazon is so dense that it can take up to 10 minutes for falling rain to reach the ground. Back and forth. In 2006, geologists discovered that the oldest river sediments were found upstream of their source. Scientists were able to conclude that the Amazon used to flow east to west, but changed after the Andes rose across the continent about 100 million years ago. Microscopic heroes. Pestaloteopsis microspora might be the solution to one of our biggest problems plastic pollution. Yale University's Priya Anand recently discovered that these bacteria can grow and survive without oxygen, which might be the link we need to eliminate plastic in the ocean and other places devoid of oxygen. Research is still in the early stages. Big Spenders Norway has been the largest benefactor to saving the Amazon rainforest, donating a billion US dollars between 2008 and 2015. It must be noted that Norway is not exactly a close neighbor, but over 6,000 miles away from Brazil. Flesh-eating fish. We all knew it was coming. It's not the Amazon without a flesh-eating fish, right? Enter the piracucu, also known as the arapaima or paichi. This meat eater lurking in the river can grow up to three meters long and has adapted to be an apex predator, boasting teeth on the roof of its mouth and tongue. Yikes, remember that crazy guy who swam the whole Amazon river? 
Hey everyone, that is a ton of info so far, but I think that I owe you one little fact about myself. My favorite flower is the orchid, but irises are a close second. Tell me your favorites in the comments down below. One, Amazon fires. In 2019, the Amazon saw an 80% jump in the fires from the same time of year in 2018. In August, the fires intensified and raged out of control throughout Brazil. According to the INPE, more than 80,000 fires have been recorded so far in 2019 in Brazil, half of which affected the Amazon. 